Welcome, my friends, to another episode do High Life. Kelly Cal in the building. What's up, y'all? Today on High Life, we will be talking about. Comment on concentre? How to refocus? And it took a lot of refocusing to get these tracks laid out for you guys. This music here is 100% my composition made right on the laptop. So, with that said, enjoy your background vocals, ladies and gentlemen. Something for you guys, some slight. Cali Cal Highlight Vibe. All right. Now that I got you guys set up for this episode, how does one refocus their self, themselves? Take a step back and look at what you got around you. Take a step back and clear your mind and focus. Everyone's got things on their mind. Everyone needs a little time to get away from what they got on the mind, on the brain. In the membrane, it's all insane. Hey, hey, it's it's all insane. So, why do we refocus what we have on our minds so that we can prioritize and organize what we got going on in our day to day? You got a lot going on. You're letting the things get ahead of you. You're letting yourself get ahead of you. Reconcentre. Refocus. Reconcentrate. Ooh. 
why am I drilling focus and concentration and being able to step back so hard? Because we fly through life way too fast. Way too fast. We need to stop and smell the roses. Listen to the band that's practicing down the street. Take your earphones out. Be aware of your surroundings. Refocus. Refocus your mind. Refocus your talents. Refocus all your ideas. Votre idée en... Et pensez. Take a step back and refocus. Maybe you were rushing to work today. Slow down. Refocus. You don't want to get in a crash. Put your seatbelt on. I actually had a idea earlier today while I was going through job applications and there's a difference between having control of your life being in control of your life and fate two different things Because you could have control over your life, put your seatbelt on before you drive and still get in an accident. There was no control in that situation. It just happened. So even when things go bad and we try to say, oh, I could have stopped it. Well, you can't always stop the future from coming. Sometimes things just happen. You could do everything in the world to try and prepare for whatever you want. But know that not everything goes according to plan. So when things happen like this, when things don't go according to plan, Reconcentre. Refocus. Refocus on everything you have at play. Some things will still work the same. Some things won't work the same. Sometimes you'll think the same. Sometimes you won't think the same. That's what refocusing is for. Analyzing what you have, the cards in your hand, and what to do with them. How to play them. Refocus. Because life will pull a quick queen on your ass when you got two threes in your hand. Refocus. Draw again. Maybe you'll get a king. Refocus. You don't know what's in that deck. You don't know what you're going to pull. Refocus. Take your time. Step away from yourself and what you know, what you're familiar with, so that you could pick up different, new, maybe better, hopefully better, ideas and thoughts and skills. Challenge yourself. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Give yourself a task that you know you can't do. Or that you think you can't do. But just try and try and try and keep going. Don't stop until you got 
everything on lock. No stopping here. So when that wave of life recedes and starts to draw back, before that next wave comes up and hits you in the face, refocus, time it if you can. Plan out your life and everything that you're gonna do. Why? When we have a plan, we stick to a plan. We have these goals that we're setting for ourselves every single day. You stay solid with yourself. You keep yourself accountable. for what's going to happen, what will happen, what can happen. But only for the things that you plan. For the things that you did not plan, that just happened, step back and refocus. Why did this happen? Why did this happen the way it happened? What could I have done to do better? And if I couldn't have done anything at all, what did I learn from this situation that bettered me as a person? Maybe I didn't study enough for an exam. And I got an F. Step back, refocus. How can I study more? How can I study better, more efficiently so that I can do better on my test? Still fail the next one, damn. Okay, step back, refocus. What can I do to do better on the next test? Go to a teacher, ask for study hours. Ask a friend for help. I get a D. Okay, improvement. Something worked. Step back, refocus. What can I do to get a C or a B? What can I do to get an A? How can I push myself to do better? Maybe you keep failing the class. Maybe this class just isn't for me. I can't do microeconomics. Well, economics. It just ain't for me. Too broad. Way too broad. Especially macro. I get it, but when you give me something and then it actually, what I thought was right, ends up being the complete opposite of what happened and then supply and demand doesn't add up and then it's just you no know, it's too much too much leave that to someone else it's not my job that's just not what i'm good at it's not what you're good at i don't know maybe it is what you're good at we all have different strengths and weaknesses so step back and refocus learn what your weaknesses and your strengths are and be open to them Never downplay your weaknesses, never overdo your strengths. Be humble. Hey, 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 be humble. Hey, 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 be humble.
when in doubt, take a step back. Refocus. Know how to play with the cards that you are dealt with. That'll probably be, be the biggest point for today. Know how to be smart and play with the cards that you were dealt with. Because at the end of the day, the cards that we're dealt with is all that we have. Everything else is planning for the future. So with that, my friends, have faith in yourself, in your goals, in your God, in your pursuit of happiness. Do you do you well. Stay blessed, my friends. And always, always, always spread love and have a blessed day. Bon journée, bon nuit. When no matter the time of day, live your best life. Love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow on Highlight.